Scream 3 movie review. Sydney has now taken some precautions and withdrawn herself somewhat. But the killings begin yet again with the production of a third movie. Yes, a third movie about the third movie. This is still referential, but it's more self-referential with a lot of in-jokes and a lot of references to Hollywood. Not a lot of slasher references left, and in fact, at points, this is decidedly unlike a slasher at all. There's some focus on the cops, with some good material, and some of the Hollywood jokes are funny if they do get a bit repetitive. Also note that Sydney isn't in this as much as the others. The acting is still quite good, although some of the new aren't that great. The tension and suspense is still pretty strong, though the new characters are just not as good and that makes it a bit less impactful. The backstory is good and this, you know, completing the trilogy means it goes back and touches upon things. You know, things you thought were just a certain way are now up in the air, you know, maybe they were completely different. The opening is okay, the climax is pretty good, although in parts not very slasher-like. This also has by far the blandest death scenes of the trilogy and probably the least amount of blood.